Hi, this is Krish from Adobe and in this video I'll show you how I created this logo using the latest update of Adobe Illustrator running on this Sony Vario Duo. It has a pressure sensitive pen that Illustrator actually understands. So I can use this pen to draw strokes with variable width and so on. Let's take a look. So here we are in Illustrator and let's take a look at my brushes. If I double tap on any brush, I get the brush options. And in this case, I can set the size to be controlled by pressure. And I can increase the variation up to how much I want the actual size to change depending on the pressure. So there are many kinds of brushes that actually support the pressure sensitivity functions. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to be using the blob brush tool. So I just simply double tap on the blob brush tool itself to bring up the blob brush options. And I want to set my size to be determined by pressure and the variation to the maximum variation it allows me to have. So after setting that, as you can see, I can change size of the brush simply by changing the amount of pressure I put on the pen. I can also rest my hand on the screen itself and just freely draw but in this particular case I actually prefer sort of keeping my hand as loose as possible to give that very loose ink like feel. Now using the blob brush I'm going to draw the basic outline of my table car shape. Now notice how I'm changing the width of the strokes simply by changing the amount of pressure I put on the pen. Now notice how when I'm drawing this scroll you can very easily manipulate the width of the line simply by changing the pressure. It feels very natural and organic. So here's a version of the ink drawing that I did earlier for the purposes of time. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a new layer and put the layer behind the ink lines. Then using the same blob brush tool, I'm just going to pick a color from my color swatches and I'm simply going to loosely add some color to the areas I want it to have those colors and I'm just going to do it without worrying too much about being precise because I want that hand-drawn feel to it and even though it looks like I'm drawing on top the layer is actually behind so when I let go of the pen the color actually moves behind the line so let's add some darker shades of brown into this area Maybe some more here and maybe a shade of grey to this area over there. And even during this process I can change the pressure on my pen to make either precise strokes or just very large depending on where I'm trying to add color to. And of course I can add another layer behind that one and let's pick color over there and I want to create a solid circle around this logo. Let's zoom out a little. And there you go. And after that, what I need to do is add some text to it. So I just click on the text tool and I can just type the name of the, the cafe I'm making this for. 
and I can change the size. Maybe I should fit this to a path, but to make it quick, I'm just going to just curve the text using the warp options. And here's the version I did earlier. And notice how everything is editable, vector shapes, there are lines that I can um, actually scale up and down as much as I want. And this is good to go to print. There's no need to do any other versions or redo anything. These are crisp vector shapes that I can use for actual work. So here's the final result. So there you have it. That's how I created this logo using Adobe Illustrator CC running on Sony Wario Duo. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And as Russell Brown would say, give it a try.